As many of your furnaces click on for the first time this year, you may not know that some new rules for heating your home are about to begin. New at 10, Zach Tecklenburg joins us live to show us how much it could cost. Zach? Mark, it's getting to be that time of year where jackets are no longer optional for most of us, and many of you are probably already dreading that first heating bill. And for those of you that are in the market for a new furnace, time is quickly running out before they become much more expensive. And so it begins. LBA heating service technician Bill Thomas is staying plenty busy these days. Routine safety check. Tonight he's looking at Roxanne Powers furnace in Leewood. Make sure the motor's working right, the bearings, and get it ready for the, the winter season. It's going on 10 years old and pretty soon furnaces like hers can no longer be purchased in 30 of the country's coldest states, including Kansas and Missouri. This here shows your efficiency. 82.5. New standards from the U.S. Department of Energy will require 90% efficiency starting May 1st. Some people trying to get in and uh, get an 80% before they can get them any longer. That's because the more efficient models are more expensive. There's usually about a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars difference. And Thomas says they're built differently, so the furnaces could be more intrusive to your home. But he says there are plenty of benefits. You'll have lower bills by using less gas and electricity, and they're quieter. The powers know they'll likely have to replace their furnace in the next few years. Perfect. And Roxanne says she can see past the sticker price. Maybe in the long run, if you're saving efficiencies, um, it's probably worthwhile. But if you're less enthusiastic, Thomas says make sure you're keeping your current furnace in tip-top shape for a longer life. Again, these new regulations kick in on May 1st, and 20 southern states will also have new rules for energy efficiency beginning that day, but that's for air conditioners. The goal of all this is to make the United States more energy efficient. Live in Kansas City, Zach Tecklenburg, 41 Action News.